Hello friends. So welcome back to Peppy Post video tutorial series. So today I'm going to discuss on uh, a very important topic like uh, when you are trying to send email on your GoDaddy hosting using PHP mailer, then you might be not able to send emails. So uh, this is not a problem with PHP mailer or any such uh, email sending tools. So this is actually the problem with the GoDaddy uh, security settings or you can say the firewall settings because of which you are not able to send emails. So what happens? So let's try to understand it in detail. So I have actually given all the details in the documentation which you are able to see on the screen right now and the link to that documentation is shared below in the description. So just click on that link so that you will be able to see the documentation in detail. Uh, in video, I will try to cover maximum things, but the entire details are there in the documentation where you can read everything step by step and you can follow the steps to fix the problem. So what happens in case of GoDaddy is uh, when you are you have installed PHP Mailer on your GoDaddy server and mostly in case of a shared GoDaddy hosting, uh, this problem occurs. Uh, so when you are trying to send emails from your PHP Mailer hosting, then you will be getting an error something like this SMTP connect fail. So when this error uh, happens, when you are actually trying to connect to a external third party SMTP. So this can be Gmail SMTP. This can be any other email service providers SMTP. So this error occurs only when you are trying to connect to an external uh, SMTP provider. So why this happens is because by default in case of shared hosting uh, plan, GoDaddy blocks the connection to outgoing ports that is port 25, 587 and 465. So by default these ports are blocked in case of GoDaddy. So you will be not able to connect to any of the other third party SMTP to send emails. So uh, that's the issue. And uh, if you see on the Stack Overflow also, there are like around some 300 odds issues are already reported around this particular problem. So this is a very common problem, uh, but it has solutions. So I'm going to discuss on the solutions right now. So the first solution is instead of using any third party SMTP, you can use the GoDaddy's uh, default SMTP to send email. Uh, GoDaddy encourages users to use its own SMTP server instead of using some third party SMTP because they want to keep their infrastructure protected from spam. So that is the primary reason why they encourage people to use their own SMTP. And when you are using GoDaddy's in-house own SMTP, then in that case, you will be not able to send too many emails. So they have very restrictions. So they checks for each and every email which is getting sent by their infrastructure. So there are a lot of restrictions are there when you are sending emails from your GoDaddy's uh, SMTP uh, settings. So if, uh, if you still want to use GoDaddy SMTP settings, then uh, what you need to do is you, you have to go to your PHP mailer code and what you need to do is you need to make following changes. So there are like four to five variables are there. One is the host then SMTP auth, then SMTP auto TLS. So what you need to do is set the host value to localhost, make the SMTP auth as false and SMTP auto TLS as false. So once these settings are done uh, and the port number should be 25. So once these settings are done, uh, your, your code is ready to connect to your local GoDaddy SMTP uh, server to send email. So make sure you have the right GoDaddy plan uh, in order to use this. Uh, by default, this comes with uh, every shared hosting uh, server of uh, GoDaddy. So once this is done, you will be able to send email. But uh, remember, GoDaddy uh, is very strict. So GoDaddy restricts use of any free domains like uh, Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, Outlook. So these domains are not allowed to be used in case of uh, sender from address. So you will be not able to send uh, email using your Gmail email ID. So let's take an example. If you want to send email from Dibya at the rate gmail.com to some XYZ at the rate Microsoft.com. So you will be not able to send that. 
So what you can use is you can use your corporate domain, the domains which you have booked on GoDaddy.com. So those are the domains which you can use in the sender to send emails. So uh, they are most they are very strict. So you need to do the SPMF DCAM also in order to uh, make sure your emails are going and it is not getting blocked by the GoDaddy server. So that is the option number one. The option number two. Uh, the solution to this problem is instead of using the SMTP, what you can do is you can start using email APIs. So if you don't want to use GoDaddy's own SMTP server because of all these restrictions and you want to send emails at scale. So what you can do is you can use email APIs of any other third party email service providers like Pepipo, SendGrid, Mandrill and so on. So what what is the difference here? So uh, port 25 587 so these are the ports which are for SMTP and these are blocked by GoDaddy but API runs on port 80 or 8080 so that's the HTTP port so HTTP ports are by default open on GoDaddy so what you can do is you can take the advantage of API and you can connect to any other third party SMTP over these APIs and you can send email so what you need to do is uh, most of these providers uh, gives their SDKs uh, which you can download from their GitHub. Uh, so like in case of PepiPost, you can download their PepiPost uh, uh, PHP SDK and you can just install and you can send email. So by this, you are not actually connecting uh, to the provider over the default SMTP ports and you are connecting over the API ports that is port 80. And so you will be able to send email. So that is one solution, uh, of course, here. Uh, the third solution is just to contact GoDaddy and uh, say, please unblock my ports. And then uh, if they agrees to unblock uh, the ports, then is when you will be able to send emails. But most of the time, this will not happen in case of shared hosting. But yes, if you are using GoDaddy's dedicated hosting, then they might unblock the ports, but it depends upon the case. So you need to contact their support center in order to get more details. So that is what uh, which I tried to cover in this uh, particular video. So hope these solutions will help you to send emails uh, from your GoDaddy settings and uh, you are receiving emails in your inbox. So in case uh, the mails are landing in the spam, just follow the best practices uh, like uh, doing the SPF, doing the DCAM and ensuring the sending IP address which are sending the emails are having a good reputation. The reputation of your sender domain is good. So I have discussed about all these best practices also in my other tutorial series. So I have shared the link to my tutorial series video below in the description. So just visit those links. Uh, those can help you in uh, protecting your emails from getting landed into spam too. Thank you so much. If you have any feedback, any suggestion, or if you discover any bug which is not listed as a part of this document, then do share your feedback and comments below in the uh, YouTube video. Or you can just uh, go to my documentation link. There uh, I have a comment section. There you can comment with whatever your findings is. I will try to make sure that I will reply to those comments as soon as possible.